Ya wow Welcome back chat I hope you got what you gotta do We're running it back with the game I'm just bopping along to the music. I was gonna say, this is really nice. <laughs> it's very relaxing <laughs> compared to, you know. Fact, this is great. Freaking battle that happened. <laughs> You're good. Alright. Uh, you meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know this is gonna sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um... Oh, she fell in love. With yep. Clank. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might like Clank. Very glad we picked Clank over Pop Pop. Right. Like. Hmm? Like. Like Clank? Like? <laughs> I know it sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. Like, like him. Oh, God. We got talking after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Oh? That, that, <laughs> that sparks our interest. Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? I mean, with those looks. I mean, <laughs> it's no stretch. I, I can believe it. No, but that does make complete sense. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king at a school he didn't even go to. But he was also the con the convertible that he himself- what? Wait. That he himself rode in at the front of the homecoming parade. That, that's oh, what the they decorated the convertible to look uh, at? That makes sense. Right? I'm choosing to believe that's what he meant. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cooker language translation there. Either way, maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy, like I am with Colonel Sanders. You and Colonel Sanders, the <sighs> coolest guy in the school. Damn, Miriam! Wow. The most famous student to ever att attend University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. You're a thing now. Oh my. Oh, we're not a thing. Shade. Damn. We definitely connected yesterday. <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? You guess? You guess? Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Oh, shit. God damn it. Your bestie's eyes light up. A secret ingredient? Yeah. yeah. I, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? You're outside. I know. Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. So this <laughs> summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the, in the botanical garden where I was wandering. This can't be good. He told me about all about his passion for spices, secret spices. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from some super duper rare dried power flower petals. There we go. And that if I did hit him a big favor, I could have some of my own. Please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. I don't know. He was so nice, he even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later, when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me, and the flavor was uh, unlike anything I had ever tasted. I think you're being very liberal, liberal with the meaning of spices here. Whatever. Anyhow, we have all share an interest in cooking, so we've stayed in touch, you know, like pen pals. I bet he would love to know more about new spices. We're not sharing this. No, we're not sharing it. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt I'd be much use to anyone. Cough, every cough. Please, please, please! It would mean the world to me. No one has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. Yeah, we'll know. Fake ingredient. What yeah, do you fake. think? Should you protect Colonel Sanders' secret or share it with your bestie? Make up a we fake gotta, ingredient. Yeah, we gotta make up a fake ingredient. Fuck no. You quickly think of a fake ingredient name. I don't know. How about 
It was Eye of Newt. I know it sounds like some kind of witch potion, but what can you do? Eye of Newt? Wow! Her eyes light up imagining such a thing, and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. It's probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she's definitely not texting secret ingredients to other people, you're interrupted. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. It's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving Why is he on at a horse? school. Wait on question. <laughs> Listen, we love a farm boy. <laughs> you so romantic. Look at that. Look at the majestic horse. <laughs> Horsey. It's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving at school. Stand back and admire his majestic glory, or run to him. We're gonna get run over by the horse, so let's not. Yeah, let's just stand back, you know? Colonel Sanders' horse is truly a thing of beauty. Without ever acknowledging that he's, at, he's being watched, he does a short of... Wait, what? He does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. He then slaps the beautiful creature gently on its rear, sending it free into the countryside. We're in New York, though, right? So, like... I don't know anymore! I'm... Where is this school located? <laughs> what? What is going on in chat? I don't know. Now look at your man. Now look back to me. Your man isn't me, but he could smell like me. <laughs> what the fuck? Ayo, hey, DVD? Katie, at least it's not the horse from DVD. Oh, yeah, that was really weird. I, fuck, I hate it. I hate it. There's, chat, there's like a, a, a map in DVD where it's like a circus, right? And there's like a horse. Sometimes it's alive. Other times it's like a weird zombie horse that has a third eye. Really creepy. DVD mm -hmm. horse looks cool. No. <laughs> no. Just no. <laughs> he has tears in his eyes. You're so struck by the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. Oh, I didn't realize anyone was watching. Don't worry, he knows his way home. What the heck? What the fuck is happening? Where do we live? Right? You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the words don't come out exactly right. Oh no. <laughs> what a horseful butte you have. I mean, what a what a what a horseful butte you have. Dang it, that's what I just said. Oh, no. Being a good friend, Miriam attempts to cover for you. That was Mishi around August. I've fallen off. What the fuck, Nate? You out of what? me! <laughs> oh, Mishi just gets really nervous around people they like. The design is really, especially with being dragged by a clutch from a cowboy. Copium, copium, copium. <laughs> Please. Oh, no. What? This is not helping! I mean, they got food poisoning and we're up all night. It was gruesome. You should have seen it. Why, Miriam? Why? Look at Colonel's face. He is horrified. Oh, no. She gives you a wink and a smile, as if to say, situation handled. Can't blame a girl for trying. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. When you enter the classroom, you can see your two rivals, Ashley and Van Van, are doing something bad. By the way they're hiding, you know it must be really bad. <laughs> like counterfeiting <laughs> recipes bad, experimenting with restricted ingredients bad, summoning a demon bad. Okay, this is literally that one anime oh. with the McDonald's demon. <laughs> uh, the devil's a part-time worker or some yes. shit? I think that's what it's called. It's so, it is. It's so good. I just never remember the title. <laughs> so long. No, I don't think I've ever seen it. <gasps> we should watch it one day. I mean, you should look at our list of what to watch. Already. Listen. Add it to our list. Harden. Listen. The anime one will be a lot quicker than the hardened ones. No way it won't. I mean... It's about the same length, bro. <laughs> I was just gonna say, it's really long. It's fine, it's fine, okay. You try and get a peek over Van Van's hulking shoulders. But he okay. sees you coming. Whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. 
Why is he suddenly from my country? Why don't you make like a bee and mind your own wax, honey? Oh my gosh, you called us honey. Oh. Tell them to stop acting mature. Act like you're not interested in them, but really try and get a closer look. Ooh. I like the second one. But are they gonna call us out for it? They might. But like, I really wanna know what they're doing. Fuck it, do it. You sit near the rivals, but leave your back turned to them. You even hear Van Van muttering something that sounds like a... I can't speak. That sounds a <laughs> bit like a magic spell. He sneezed. However, he notices you eavesdropping. You try and cover your tracks and improve, improvise an excuse. <clears throat> it's time for class and you're distracting the rest of us who want to learn. Enjoy your lurks, Katie. We'll just uh, we'll scream if you need to. If you need to. Okay. <laughs> now you've upset them. Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules? I'm not sure you'd know a good meal if it ate you. I mean... What? We almost got eaten last night with that weird monster. The monster? Yeah. Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity. It takes panache. And it doesn't hurt to use a little evil. Oh, damn it. You finally get a look at what it was they were hiding, and you instantly recognize it. It's a book. Oh. Just oh. like the one you found after your encounter with the spork monster. If they steal it. Maybe. That's the same book that I found last night in the quad. There's Ash someone the spork monster. <laughs> yeah. Ashley immediately elbows Van Van, who tries to hide the book behind his back. Uh, you're talking about. The book is a family heirloom and its contents are secret. Yeah. You notice that they haven't just been studying the book. You've got pot pins in the wall and they're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in his mouth. What? We're playing! <laughs> Before you can dig in any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. Okay, but like, wouldn't they also question why Pop is like pinned against the wall? I don't think so. I mean, look at the kid. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> He's not exactly screaming. Beep, beep. Clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Van's meaty foot. <laughs> hey, watch it, you bucket of bolts. You watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. Bzz, womp. The angry face. Who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such language. Not even from a stand mixer. That's what he is. Interesting. Womp womp. No, your mother was a stand mixer. Oh my god. Oh, he's crying! Bzz. Van Van jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Van Van and sends him flying across the room. Yeah, get him, Clank! Oh, dear lord. Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazed men are about to co come to blows. I think it must be over me, but I'm not interested in either of them. Shut Girl, the fuck up. No. Ashley Tone has completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at Colonel Sanders. Surely he must know that this is a ruse, right? She's a pick me. R literally. And I feel like he's gonna help her because he's like, quote unquote, no chivalrous. Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena at least, or don't. Honestly, what do I care? I've got lofty career aspirations mm -hmm. to focus on. Did I take it back? Maybe I can help you with your business plan. Just then, Sprinkles arrives to signal the true start of the class day. He's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal. He's a professor, but he's also a dog. Students, yeah. students, please take your seats. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car around town and my tiny legs are very, very tired. Oh, you're so cute. But I'm here now and I hope you're ready to learn. Rub his furry dog belly. He loves it. Oh my goodness. After Aww. he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Without further ado, we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. I was gonna say, I have a sound alert that's just chicken. Um, Is it? Yeah, it's like a chicken dance. <laughs> oh. You want to pay attention to the lesson. Truly, you do. 
Which is why in 1776, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed their name. But you can't help but dream about Colonel Sanders. You miss most of the important parts. Oh no. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of Oh my god. Thank you for the biddies. It is really loud, so I turned it down. <laughs> I can't even hear it. Hold on. It is very loud. You know what's even louder? Oh, Jesus Christ, that is loud. Only being able to hear that in my ears. <laughs> That's not the chicken one. I don't know what it is. If you look at, like, um, my channel page in the about, there's like a list of sound alerts at the bottom. Actually, wait, can I just play it? I got it, I got it, don't worry, don't worry. You're gonna need it on YouTube. Is it this one? <laughs> ah! Moose! Why? <laughs> I gotta find the, the thingy. Oh, oh, it's this one. Oh, there it is. Okay, this room's a little behind for me. <laughs> there it is! It's so funny. I love that one. Thank you for the biddies! <laughs> Why is this such a pop? Wait. It's good, right? <laughs> I love it so it's much. Still going. It's still going for you? Oh, right, right. Stream's still going. Thank you for the biddies. What is that one emote, Tian? Oh, it's a chick! Oh, oh my goodness! It's so cute, it's so cute. I accidentally muted myself self and not stream. I saw it. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. fine. Everything's fine, Jack. Don't worry. Okay. Nothing when happened. you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, Mishi. Naturally, this appears to you to be a sample platter. Which item do you want to sample? A glass mm -hmm. of water, a shimmering pepper, or a dog biscuit? I don't... Ugh. Mine is, like, pepper. Yeah. That seems like the best option. A brightly colored pepper stands out from the other items. It sparkles in a way most eye-catching way. So naturally, you reach out, grab it, and eat it right away. This is the bad However, idea. Oh no. However, your body is not prepared for the heat. Oh god, his face. Pepper has triggered oh, an intense spice hallucination. It feels like forever has tri as you trip through the universe. Oh no, we died? My friend. Ooh. I, I was literally doing the Liam voice, but it wouldn't work. It's like fine. That. <laughs> This guy again? I'm here to give you an important message. Ooh. You must avenge my death, fulfilling your destiny. All you must do is... <coughs> I say, to fulfill your destiny, all you must do is... <laughs> Sorry, I, I think I still got some spice stuck in my throat. It's fine, I'll work through. <laughs> <laughs> to fulfill. <laughs> the prophecy. <laughs> you must. You feel yourself begin to regain consciousness. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> ah. You come to and find everyone is staring at you. That pepper. Oh. Oh. That pepper oh. was the oh. last of its kind on earth and now it's gone forever. You think to yourself, geez, I should pay better attention. Why was it on the platter? Yeah, why would. If it's the last of its kind, why would it be here? Right? 
We all make mistakes. I'm sure he'll forgive you some someday. Oh no. No more belly rubs. Come on, it's time for lunch. The what fuck the is up? What did we learn? What were we supposed to pick? I kinda wanna Google it. Google it. Yeah. Wait, what the heck were we supposed to pick? Library. I love the kids of Sanders guides. Oh, you're playing Overwatch, Katie? Yeah, because I wish you luck. I thought you were playing DVD at first. So there's anyone, a lot of different guides. What the fuck is going on? Maybe it's like a, a multiple route thing. Maybe? I don't know. I don't regret it. Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim. And your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. Today's lunch will be prepared Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to read the guide to figure out what the answer should have been. <laughs> it's giving me Team Rocket vibes. Uh, it says any of the three options choose the dog treat for a better for an extra choice. So it didn't really matter. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Okay, we're fine. Via time competitive cook off. Oh man. The level of theatrics with these two is never off the charts. That is a butcher's knife. Uh, I'm mildly scared. Demand that they stop wasting everyone's time. Step up and tell them you're on. Step up and tell them you're on. But a bit of lunchtime topic yeah, competition, eh? Count me in if I have to wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down, then so be it! I'm not the fool, you're the fool, fool! Good one, Van Van. I like your go- Should Mishi. Oh yeah, thank you. I'll be watching your performance, uh oh. You're not gonna cook? Wow. I mean, I, I think it's just us versus them, so... Uh, just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, mean? now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sportsing court. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least not until we turn on the timer. Oh, no. oh. Oh, dear lord. Oh, what the fuck. Just then, a huge light blasts you in the face, flashing the words, Timer ready. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. I stand corrected. The hard way builds solidly a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. And that's an original quote by me, in case anyone was wondering. I hope it's a message. I hope it's a message lifts you to victory. Thank you, Colonel Sanders. Like a diamond, I was formed under pressure, and now is my chance to shine. Okay. I will defeat you myself. You're scary. I, I, that was the wrong voice I should have done You're for her. Okay. You had his chicken and you made mashed potato gravy on day one. And you're feeling like you can really impress him again here. It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Think fast. If the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. What temperature does water uh, boil at? 100 degrees Celsius. That's right. But how do you even got into the school without knowing that? I don't know. Shit. I don't know. Winner gets to rip my furry belly. Let that enticing offer motivate you. Moon, oh, that I'm trusting you, man. I don't okay, know okay, shit about okay, cooking. Okay. You're going to need to season this chicken before you cook it. You don't know Colonel Sanders' recipe yet, but you have an idea. How many herbs? Eleven. Eleven. That's right. You might not know all the ingredients yet, but at least you're headed in the right direction. Tail wagging intensifies. <laughs> Now that you've gotten some of the basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. What state of mind offers the most flavor? Gratitude. Gratitude. That's right! You must never take the opportunity for granted if you hope to succeed. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You'd better pick up the pace if you want to survive. When you were a child, your father told you to never forget where you came from. Every day, you meditate on this advice and draw energy from that place. Now would be a great time to harness that energy. So where does small it come town. from? Huh? A small town! A small town! That's right! This is your shot, and you're not going to miss it! Arroo! You try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on your cooking. 
What is the sound of success? Silence. I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say silence. Shit. I didn't click. No. That's wrong. Don't make me get the spray bottle. <laughs> Next question. You notice Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. I believe- oh wait, you. I believe in you, Mishi. Thank you, Majestic Chicken ah. Man. He's actually cheering you on! Which would be awesome, except knowing he's watching you makes you totally forget what you were doing. Fuck. Oh no. Now all you could think about is Colonel Sanders, Colonel Sanders. Fuck off! Respectfully! Fuck off. How many spoonsfuls of gravy? Uh, they were all Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> they were all Colonel Sanders. What were you thinking? Get your mind back into oh the competition. Grrr. You are stranded on a desert island with only one dessert cookbook. Which do you take? What a hunk. This is weird. <laughs> I know, right? You know what? Shouldn't you be focusing on the challenge? You're falling behind. Sorry, I forgot the question. Changing wedding vows. Oh god. What does that have to do with the crafting spectacular fried chicken and delicate big biscuits? You're about to ask a dumb question. Is Colonel Sanders dead or alive? He's dead. What? He's dead. The real yeah. Colonel Sanders IRL oh, yeah. is. He's he's dead. He yeah. died like a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think it was like 1980. Yeah, he lived a solid life. Mm -hmm. Oof, oof. You're really struggling to keep up. Yeah, I can only think about Colonel Sanders. <laughs> At the next station over, Ashley has already begun plating elements of her dish. It's colorful and complex. To make up time, you toss your biscuit dough into the stand mixer. As you do, the crowd gasps. Ugh, yikes. Zip. I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilized in a kitchen battle, but sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. Or... You might not have any hands, but Mishi does, and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed. There's an easy way and a hard way. You don't get far by going the easy way. Oh, oh my god. When you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hand into the mixer to rescue your dough before it's overmixed. We just Mishi, no! Oh, yeah. But you're not fast enough and your hand gets stuck. It's immediately crushed by the quickly spinning heaters. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. We need a doctor. Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. What you often find is that the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone stop what you're doing right now. The battle is over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply can't go on. Oh, that's too bad. And here I am with a completed dish, ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by default. No, no, that wouldn't be fair to the compared the two, on account of Mishi's injury. You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he licks onto the other dish. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skip straight to dessert. You're a menace. I'm gonna throw a water bottle at her. Oh, why does it look good, though? Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. Why does it have to look good? Why did she why you get to make that? it? Oh, my God. I was going to ask Mishi to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. We have another hand! Fuck. Colonel Ooh. Sanders, if you wouldn't mind letting me your strong, steady hand- Ew, ew, ew. Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. Whoa. Inside, you'll find a delicate fried cheese croquet. Okay, sure. Yeah. I'll pop a slice of honeycomb, ice cream, two ways, tender nougat, nu nougat, there we go, and pearls of blueberry jelly? Wait, so then they prepared this, and then they just took chocolate and covered it. To make it melt. I don't know how I feel about that. Mm, it's pretty common, I think. I don't think Colonel Sanders is gonna like it. Oh, he's not oh. impressed. 
Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger in the chocolate sauce. Simplicity isn't your strong shoot, is it? Uh, is it uh, words, Jesus. Yo, is it, actually? Listen, it's been two hours now. We can't speak. Right. Oh, you. <laughs> As he places a soft covered, sauce covered finger into his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Internalized rage. I don't think we should step in. Nope. I think, it, yeah. Uh, your rage burns so intensely within your eyes that they burst into flames. Our eyes are on fire? Uh, all right, then. Oh my god, they are! The flames cause your eyebrows to catch on fire and turn to ash, and then they fall off your face, which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester. Perhaps forever! Have you heard of fake eyebrows? Oh, right? Just draw them on. Embarrassed and ashamed of your poor performance, not to mention your crispy fried brow, you run for the quad to be alone. The beautiful weather feels like an insult. Inside of you, Storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. It is the second day of school. Right? Jesus. Dear God. Chat. And he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Not just from the devastating loss, but from that running with the mixer <laughs> in that small fire. We should get that checked out. Look at his face. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm fine! Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser and I'm not fit to fill your fryer. What? 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 <laughs> Shit. I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life, not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've never failed at anything before? Oh my god, it's the intro song. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love it. It's so good, bud. That's exactly what I think. Well, then think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you, enrolled in culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. But, well, handsome, sure. I was born that way. Damn, oh all god. right. God. But I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an op op obstetrician. Yeah, you we're gonna be an go eye doctor. Is that what? Is that what that's? Yeah, that's what it's called. Never mind. The fuck. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. Is this all real? I, I I'm very curious now. I was passionate about livestock. But I even failed as a mule handler. That one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. I lost my business partner to a gunfight. What the fuck? Yo, chat. What? Damn. Chat, can you guys look up if this is, like, accurate or not? This is insane. Oh my god. Welcome back, Pizza Cat. Welcome. We, we um, stuck our hand into a mixer. Our eyebrows caught on fire. And now we're having a soulful moment. Where apparently we're learning a lot about Colonel Sanders. You're looking on Wiki right now? Thank you, honey. Obstetrician is for childbirth. Obstetrician? I don't well. fucking know. Oh, optometrist! There we go. Yeah, there we go. I'm like, I know it starts with a no, but I don't think that's it. There's so many things. All right. He my is doctor. dead. I didn't know. People see my delicate ribbon tie and well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together. Which is true now, but it hasn't always been. And... Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. Chat, can we get some hugs for Colonel Sanders, please? For Colonel Sanders. I resolved then that I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. I'm chugging my coffee. Hold on. <laughs> As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you see some you see something inside him. I can't read. <clears throat> Take two. As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you can see something ignite inside of him. A burning passion. One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. So how old is this character supposed to be? Yes. Not a clue. <laughs> 
Oh, um, Sanders was diagnosed with acute leukemia in June 1980. He died at Louisville Jewish Hospital of Pneumonia six months later on December 16th at the age of 90. Damn! That's really nice. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Yay! What the fuck, Pop? Pop, go away. Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy- Threatening? Presence. Battle scarred from the night before, you prepare for the worst. It's a spork monster! Oh my god! Sporkle the spork monster is here to fight a hero! We is had Gorko and now we have Gorko? Wait. Oh my god, it's an entirely different one. Is anyone else feeling a bit of deja vu? Yep. I'm sorry, Gorko, but I could have sworn we already battled you last night. That was Borko, my twin, and I, Gorko, and here to avenge them. Are you stronger than Borko? Well, we're twins, so... No, not really. We're pretty much exactly equal in every way. Why do you ask? Colonel Sanders smirks. He's already on the same page as you. It's just that we beat Borko pretty easily, so I don't think you have much of a chance. Not to mention, I feel really guilty about that. If I could take it back, I would. I think what Mishi is saying is, can't we just be friends? Life's too short to be making enemies. I suppose. We really don't need to fight. It's just that I've got these pointy teeth and claws. All the better for enjoying tasty foods. Surely you, you like to eat, don't we all? Of course I do. Inspiration strikes and you come up with a quick idea. Chomp on this! You toss a biscuit into Corco's open mouth and he devours it in one gulp. Is that our breakfast from yesterday? We don't question it. <laughs> it's fine. Delicious! You're much nicer than the evil students who once upon a time turned me into this creature who stands here today. I don't believe it. You were human once? Well, no, I was a chihuahua, but I was still a student at the school. Until one day some mean kids with a magic spell book cast a dark enchantment on me. And I was forever transformed. What about your twin brother? Another Chihuahua? Maybe. I get the feeling it's the people we grew up with. Oh, yeah, um, maybe. A magic spell book. Precisely. Workle used to have a copy, but somewhere along the way I've lost it. If you find such a book, I beg of you, respect it. You're a powerful chef, and you shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocents from those who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. Guile? Word! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you need me, don't fear. I will be there. I don't think it was the people we grew up with, because uh, he said it was people like that were students. Right. So... so then the people we grew up took the copy. Yeah. But Where's... we found the copy yesterday. Did Colonel keep that copy, though, or...? Or did we just leave it behind? I don't know. I think we left um, it behind. I think we did. I My think frames we are it. hella dropping, by the way. Dear God. <laughs> okay. It sounds like there's some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Michi, together, I am sure we can defeat them. <laughs> Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss- Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait, let me change... No. Oh, it's this one. I'll do this one instead. A personal invite. You can't imagine that what Colonel Sanders' home must be like. But it sounds like you're about to find out. Oh, whoa, what's this? Hi, Moon Crab, how you doing? Welcome on in. Aww. We're playing, um... <laughs> playing I Love You, Colonel Sanders, the dating simulator. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> it's also free on Steam if anyone is interested. <laughs> Worth the money. We don't even have a sponsorship. We're we, selling out. I, Dude, we are selling out so hard. It's such a good game. 
what a thing to see on lunch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's plenty of good food. Don't worry. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god, I can't wait for this. Um, enjoy your lunch, by the way. I can't wait to see yeah. what you got. Um, personal. I already read that. Oh my oh. god. Wait, yeah, the goat has a baby. It's the music. How rich is he? What's Harry? Stepping in sunlight. Where do we live? Where are we? We thought we lived in New York. How are we here? And he has a horse? I can't. Stepping inside Sanders' home, you're surrounded by his things. You start to feel a special bond with him. Oh my god, there's family pictures. Is that a camel? Yeah, I think he's in Egypt, because those are pyramids. Who's he standing next to? Kentucky? Oh, is that like the opening of his business or something? Oh, it might be. I and like look the... at baby Sanders with the goatee. Oh my god, he has a goatee. <laughs> Man's is a real life Mr. Moneybags. You right, you right. Literally. <laughs> Looks like you live such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Okay, wait, this brings up a good point. How old is this guy? Right, right. How long has he been in school? It's fine, don't worry about it. Yeah, semester is three days. Yeah. <laughs> so it's okay, he just dyed his hair. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, never stop imagining. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to reveal about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It's just a side dish that I've been tinkering with, trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Colonel Sanders' eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. It may, it's meant to... I can't read it. It's meant to pair with something spicy, or something crispy. Both, perhaps. Old enough for you to marry him and get his funny chicken recipe pizza. Pizza, I'm dying. <laughs> hey, I like that. I like oh that. My <laughs> oh my god, my man got the cobra less. <laughs> now you've got him right where you want him. Should you reveal your new creation to him or keep it a secret just for you? Reveal it. Reveal, reveal it. Reveal he told it. us his secret recipe. The least we can do yeah, is reveal we have something. To. You decide that you're as ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Before you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive in head first. You reach into your lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. I present to you my original coleslaw. I'm not a fan of coleslaw. I'm not either. I, uh... And uh, Sanders laying down. <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a body pillow of this man, I'm sure. Oh my god, we gotta look it up. Um, oh, that looks good, though. I'm not a fan of coleslaw, but that actually looks good. The shredded cabbage dish glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' luxury hideaway. Magnificent! Together, you chow down on the creamy slaw until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Why are we eating just plain coleslaw? Yeah, we could, like, get some side dish. We're both in culinary school. Why are we just All eating right? this? Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I'd like to have it around so that I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. Sis. You can offer him to make more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Wonder made a gift for us. <laughs> I sent in the VC chat. Wait, let me open this card. I I just see that one image. <laughs> that is the only thing I see. <laughs> Can't show chat that too. I sent in the VC chat. Oh, oh VC chat. Um. Oh, I love it. Oh, you see, so you're a GIF now. I'm a GIF. Hold on, can I open it? Yeah, I want to open it. I want to show chat. Oh, God. Oh, 
Uh, can't zoom in. I take it back. I can't show chat. Another time, Aww. chat. Don't worry. I'm All struggling. Right. <laughs> it's just a gif of um that the one scene dream. where yeah, yeah, when we were like eating it. My phone's buzzing. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, uh, tabs. Uh, where am I? No, you're fine. Did you read it already? Did I? I don't remember. I think you did. He's just leaving to do something real quick. Please make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. Ah, he's not I just read it off stream. <laughs> um, you realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. Around the room are various items that you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item to discover more about Colonel. Okay, chat, we got this. Alright. Clicking on this chicken. You notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on the corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't just realistic. It's real? Oh. Taxidermy? Must have been important to Colonel Sanders when it was alive. A little note clipped to the chicken's foot reads, The true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. What? What do you want to tap on? A uh, scented candle. Uh, this one? In the middle? Yeah, yeah, the candle. Ooh, a scented candle. You pick it up and try to identify the smell. Power tool? What? Freshly starched collar. <laughs> Piece of wood floating in a lake. These are very descriptive. Right? Summer of 69. <laughs> no, it's just one of the secret recipe ingredients. It's... What? I want to know what the ingredient is. Right? Um, let's do... What is this thing next to it? It's a comb! Oh my we god, can sell we his hair! hair. <sighs> we have his hair, we can clone him! Let's go, chat! We're gonna, we're gonna clone him! A lock of silver hair is woven through the teeth of the comb. Upon further inspection, you realize that the hair they're in isn't just silver in color. It's actually made of spun silver. His hair is silver. <gasps> We're not well, opening that yet. Well, I was gonna say, let's look at everything else first. Uh, let's go to the window. You gaze out the window across the vast lake and mountain range beyond. <laughs> Nate's singing in chat. <laughs> Just then, the ghost of student pops up. Are you thinking about heading out into the world on a quest to avenge my death? How are you here? Wait, what? I, I never even learned your name. Why would I avenge you? I'm gonna tell you my own name right now, it's... Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? You open the window and a crack... Oh, you, end up, you open the window a crack and the ghost of student is swept out with a breeze. We're never gonna know what he wants. No. What, um, how did we crack open the window? I honestly thought this was like a door. I didn't think it was in window. Uh... You take a closer look at the large urn sitting on a nearby pedestal. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty, but when you wipe it off, you read the inscription. It says, Here lie the ashes of all my past careers and business oh, failures. No. Oh. Yikes. Ugh. Poor guy. Okay. Uh, let's do the baby picture. Baby. Look at him, chat. Look. Oh, he's a chicken wing. Oh, he's a I thought it was a rattle at first. <laughs> you bought an adorable little baby boy crawls across the floor. From the goatee and mustache combo he sports, you finger that this must be Colonel Sanders himself. That or maybe it's the drumstick that he seems to be waving like a rattle. Well, you know. How old is he in this picture? I don't know. Who frames a baby picture of themselves? Good question. We don't question it. Probably it's the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of a company they founded. Am I right? Yikes. Oh, damn. Hamel. Hamel. The photo appears to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting the pyramids of Egypt. Dude, is he a vampire? Holy is he regressing? Shit. Maybe this is where he discovered one of his secret herbs and recipes? Oh, he discovered it in Egypt. Makes oh, sense. Right. They have, like, really good spices and stuff. That's true. Alright, last picture? 
One of the framed photos shows an old man who looks a bit like Colonel Sanders standing with a friend. They hold fried chicken drumsticks and appear to be cheering them. Cheersing them? But they're not holding drumsticks. I was going to say they're holding nothing. Nothing. You look closely and see there's a short inscription. I wonder who my friend Pete is. Welcome back, Katie. Welcome back. Uh, the thing... This must be where he keeps a secret recipe. You think for a moment. What number is important to Colonel Sanders? Then it dawns on you. As soon as you turn the dial to 11, 11, 11, the safe opens. Inside you find a single note. Can chicken be prepared sashimi style? What? Is it so no. Yeah, I don't... You need to cook it, chat. Yeah, no. Don't don't eat raw chicken. Oh dear God. That's how you get salmonella. I think that was it, right? And then just the door. Uh, I don't see anything else glowing. So it's a nice fireplace. All right. I want it. Oh my God. You open the door to Colonel Sanders' closet and find a row of his signature white suits hanging within. You take one off its hanger and try it on. Oh my God. He's gonna uh, come I... back and we're wearing it. What? Right? Thunder! Don't eat raw chicken. <laughs> Thunder! I can't. I can't. The jacket is a bit big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug, breathing in his scent. They say that home is where the heart is. Is this what they meant? We're like low key kind of weird in this game. Not yeah, gonna lie. Sad. It was very sus. Chat, don't do this. Yeah, no. <laughs> so Especially weird. if you've only known the person for two days. Yeah, but I know all 11 herbs and spices. Thunder, no! <laughs> no! Oh, no, 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 Do we take the coat off? Before you can lurk any further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he's been working on, and he wants you to taste it. You try to ask casual. Oh, until he asks why you're wearing his jacket. I don't usually loan those out, but I must say, it does look good on you. Oh, shit! Oh. Let's go! Oh, crap, the jacket. I forgot to take it off. Um... We should probably fess up. Yeah. Like, clearly we were snooping. You're right. You confess. I think I've developed feelings for you. That, that uh, was not what I thought we were gonna do. That was nope. not what I thought we were gonna nope. do. Wow, we suck. But he liked it. I might be developing feelings for you too. But, but I'm concerned. I can't just let any anything get in the way of my dreams. Bro. Damn. Uh, I'm gonna say this I now, chat. If someone's like, hey... I like you, but I want to focus on myself and I don't think I'm ready. They don't like you enough to be with you. It's a fair thing, though. They want to focus yeah. on their dreams. That's okay. You can do that. Just, you know, you can work together, too. <gasps> Lady Wagner, welcome on in! Yeah. Oh my god, I'm excited to play DVD with you, too. I'm also concerned since I have no clue what his age is. Listen. We don't question it. It's fine. Pizza Show cat. Daddy. No, daddy. I am his dream now. Focus on me. <laughs> you right, you right. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and run for the door. If it starts oh raining as we're running out. Oh my god. Oh, peak fanfic moment. Right. Oh my god, and he was giving you food? Oh no. Whoa. But the thought of leaving Colonel in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough gives you pause. You stop yourself. Me, she is the 12th spice. <laughs> what the fuck? On a similar vein, have you played Hooked on <gasps> No, but we're gonna I play just it. Bought it for her. Yeah. We um we talked about it early on in stream just now. And Moon bought the game for me, so we're gonna play it next week, probably on Friday, same time. Keep an eye out, chat. <laughs> it's so exciting. Oh, God. Colonel? Yes, Mishi? <gasps> he looks so sad! I honestly I think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you're right. We should take things slow. And then we die. And then we die? We turn into a ghost. <laughs> you talk late into the night and drift off into a slumber. Dream sequence! Oh my god. Oh my god. Chad, it's happening again. 
my god. Yeah, so this is what the GIF is. Yeah. <laughs>